Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Chevy Boy back on the channel, and uh, this is episode two of Pro Series Drag Racing. So, if you guys look in the upper right-hand corner here, you'll see that I went from like $90 to 42882 um, and I did a lot of racing, but I've also got these things. They're called wheel spins. And one of them I got like ten grand, so that was cool. Another one I got like the sixteen gold that you see there. So I'm gonna do all of these real quick. Ooh, three grand, nice. Okay. Um, and oh, uh, dude, five hundred bucks. That's cheap. Okay. No, um, I got a free dino run. I don't know how, but I did. Um, and I think my, uh, the runs that I made, like 600 horse. I'm not sure. Um, if I can, I will show you guys a picture up on the screen, but I'm not sure. Ooh, five. I'll take that. Okay, five grand. I'll take that. But yeah, no, if I'm, if I can, I will show you guys, um, picture on the screen if possible so I think I'm just gonna blow it and go for the stage 4 blower uh, no pun intended um, stage 4 nitrous I wonder if I could do a blower with nitrous but I'm not entirely sure so to be safe I'm gonna go stage 4 good god um, I'm gonna go with the stage 1 just to be safe, so I'm not blowing all my money. Um, as far ooh, no, I didn't want to buy the. Okay, cool. So I can use a blower with nitrous. That's good. Um, but I'm thinking about going with a billet big block, but I'm not sure. The race big block I could use, but it's eight thousand dollars, and it only gives me, and it doubles it. Okay. I kind of want to keep the stroked stock block though, man. I love my LT1350 small block. But I could go with an aluminum small block and make it an LS1. Um, you know what? For now, I'm going to go with the stoke or the stock. Bleh, excuse me. The stroked stock block. Um,. If you guys think I should go for either the race big block or the billet big block, let me know. Um, but for now, that's it. That's how I'm going to do that. I'm digging this race tune, this tunnel ram. Um, partially because of a car known as the Crusher Camaro. It has one, so that's going to be really cool. Um, and as for the headers, I'm thinking... Maybe equal length, but I kind of like the sound of shorty headers. Um, even though they're custom tuned, they're not going to hurt anything. So, but I mean, they're not going to hurt my wallet any. Um, I mean, you know, not as much uh, as some other parts have, but. And then go for the dumps or the tuned mid pipe. I think I'm just going to keep it. Because it's not affecting anything. Like at all. So, um, and as far as the engine goes, I believe. Yeah. So. Um, billet heads. I'm not much for like head work as far as, you know, like billet heads and stuff. Um, I think I'm going to go with the race cam. And, because I want to keep it like a realistic, you know, I mean, yes, a crazy big stage four blower is a lot. Like the stage two made like 600 horse. This will probably jump it up to like 800 or something, but I'm going to go with the race ported heads maybe. Just because there's three grand, you know. Um, hold on. Eh, uh, go back. Yeah, look, 10%, 15, and 20. So for 8 grand, 
I think I just spent like a two grand or three grand on this. So I'm gonna go race Porter's heads. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do much more with that. Lightweight seats I can take off. Lightweight seats, lightweight wheels. Yep. So I'm putting this car on a total weight reduction, except for the Lexan windows, because I don't really want the. You know what? I am tempted to take the stripped interior, but I don't know. Um, I mean, I know this is like a street build, kind of. I know I just wasted that money, but I think I'm going to do that. Um, and then grip. As far as that goes, like, because I've got the 10.5 slicks on this. I like the idea of drag radials. The 10.5 slicks are called, um... Oh, what are they? They're, uh... Oh, man. They're called small tires. That's what they are. It's small tires, and this is a big tire. Um... I don't know. Like, I kind of like the ET Street... You know, because it's got the tread on it, but the drag radials... Probably just drive the drag radials, but... I don't know. Um... It actually gives you power? What the heck? That makes no sense. Eh. Yeah, no, because the 10.5 slicks... They look great, and sort of the full slicks, but... Yeah, you really can't do anything with them, so... Roll bar, bolt-in cage... Tube chassis, that's eight grand. It'll give me forty percent. You know, it's a four-link suspension, wheelie bar. Man, like you could just go full race car on this. This is nuts. Um, I think I'm putting in a roll bar for eight hundred bucks. I think that's all I'm gonna do with it. Um, at least for now, you know. So, oop, okay. Oh, dude, did it take the blower off? I think it did. Dang it. That's not good. Yeah, it did take the blower off. That sucks. Okay, so it's blower or nitrous. Yeah, so you can only have the blower or the nitrous. That makes sense, though. That makes sense. Um, And I was given a couple of outlaw races, but for right now, what we're going to do is I'm gonna test this and see how fast it goes well yeah I'm gonna turn this down because I know it was really loud in my last video so um now and if you guys do notice anything 20 pounds of boost yeah baby I got my little brother into this game. Come on. This is a four speed car now. Dude. This is quick. A 983 at 100. And, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to blow the motor up because second gear just. Brrr, I'm like, oh gosh. Uh, I didn't want it to blow up or anything, so. Because I think... No, if, if the motor blows up, I'm not going to be happy. Um, I'm not about to be happy if the motor blows up. But that idle, though, that choppiness, oh, I love it. What the? What? Okay. Um, okay. That didn't make any sense. Hold on. I'm going to test this. If this blows up, I'm going to be mad. You know, I accidentally... I think I may have just said this, but accidentally um, screwed up the gear ratios, so now it's not a six-speed anymore because, like, it's freaking out because yesterday I was messing with the gears a little bit, you know, trying to get the car to go faster and everything, and uh, accidentally, like, 
put my thumb or my finger or whatever on like fifth gear or sixth gear. This car, the gear ratios on this are so tight, like it just doesn't respond like it should. 170, nice, okay. That's not bad. 100, oh, 169. Now I'm trying to get it to go faster, but it lags and I don't understand why. Like, I really don't get it. Like, the gear just lags and it redlines and it wants to make me think it's going to blow the car up and it's not. But, it does that for some reason. It just kind of freaks me out. Why does it bog down? That made no sense. Did you, you guys saw that, right? I mean, no sense. Okay. I don't understand why the car does this. Like, I just, I don't comprehend it. I promise. It's not me. It's the game. This is like in Pro Street. <laughs> like, Pro Street, yeah. The gears all lag or whatever if you don't do them properly, and it's weird. It's just weird, so. Yeah. Um. What the world? But that makes no frigging sense. I really don't understand this. Um, Cause like, I don't want to blow the car up. I really don't. But you saw that too there, right? The car, it like, getting on the throttle, it lagged it. I'm like, why does it do that? Because when it was six speed, it was fine, you know? Why does it do this? It like bogs and then it just doesn't make any sense. That does not make any sense. Is it because I'm running on four speed? I don't think so. Because the gear ratio is fine. Gear ratios are fine. Um, I don't understand the bog issue. I don't understand why it's doing this. Sorry, my thumb over the, or my finger. Now it fixes it. Okay, that's just weird. That doesn't make any sense. I, I don't understand why it does that. Did I? Hopefully I didn't hurt the motor. Oh, maybe it's acting good now because the motor's beat up or something, I don't know. Maybe the engine's hurt, and so the game goes, well, you know, now you're doing okay because the engine's hurt. Like, I don't understand it. Yeah, no, 160 miles an hour, no sweat. Makes no sense. Um, doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, look at that. 70% damage. Um, er, 70% healthy, my bad. It's 30% damage, and it responds fine. But when it works right, like, when the motor is good, it doesn't want to. Like, it makes no sense. It's weird, because I played a game like this, on my iPad that I had, that was issued on my high school. 
and the game was similar, but you could, like, throw wraps on it and stuff. You could throw, you know, flame jobs and scallops and stuff on the car, which is weird, but you can't do it here, I mean, you know. Beat a rival, yay! <laughs> uh, whoopity do. Elimination round four, okay. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll like trim this. Your burnout wasn't long enough. Oh, whoops. Oh well. <laughs> I uh, didn't catch that, but okay. I have cold tires. Let's see how this works with cold tires. Um, five, six miles an hour off. I beat another rival. Great racing. I won the event. Woohoo. Um, oh, sweet. The championship's here. Okay, spin. Hopefully I get that 18 gold. Probably not, though. 500... B you suck. Okay, fine. Screw you. Uh... Eight rounds. Good gosh. Okay. Um... <laughs> I don't think you guys are gonna want to watch 18 rounds of me fighting... Duking it out, but... You know what? I'm gonna start a few of them. Um, I mean, they're like... What, 10 seconds apiece, so... Yeah. Hopefully I'm not, like, slowly chiseling my engine down as we go. Because if I'm slowly, you know, like, eating it away, I'm not going to be happy about it, so... Um... Yeah. Sorry, I know, I keep hitting the volume. Ah, uh, 936, not bad. Engine damage. Oh, it's stuck at 70. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it there then. <laughs> each race takes like 30 seconds each one. So, no, I apologize, you guys, but. I wanted you to see this, you know? Twenty pounds of boost. Still can't believe that's all I get. <laughs> now I tried doing it with a two-speed, like a power glide automatic sort of combo. But it didn't work that well. <laughs> um, sadly. Sadly, it didn't do that well, so... Um, I tried though, like I literally was researching, um, stuff like, you know, uh, gear ratios for transmissions and stuff, and I'm like, well, okay, I thought, well, you know, this would be real world, right? So you put a 331 rear gear, which is a, uh, tall gear. It's a low number, but it's classified as a tall gear because it's close to one, uh, one to one evolution or whatever. So it's like that's how many times one gear spins in relation to another kind of thing. So it's like short gears, are high numbers. So like five sixty-two to one or something is a a low gear because or it's a low gear it's a short gear because it spins you know 5.62 times compared to um, the other gears one revolution so it's like but yeah so qualifying round four shouldn't take too long <laughs> um, yeah I know I'm just talking and like 
I think I was troubleshooting for like five minutes or something. I'm not gonna go over 25 minutes, I swear, I promise. So. I think my engine you qualified in the number one position. You earned a spin token. Woohoo. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's still stuck there. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't going as fast because I kept shifting early. Homer Hansen. That sounds suspicious, but okay. <laughs> um I think what I'm gonna do is um, what I'm going to end up doing is, uh, I'm going to end up doing this championship on the West Coast, and then... Yeah, I just wasn't shifting. Um, I'm gonna end up doing this, and then I'm gonna do that wheel spin. Clifton Franklin. Weird name, but okay. Um, yeah. No, and I could buy another car. Um, I'll show you guys those. The S2 is like. Three 1972 cars, so it's like a Challenger, the Charger. Um, there's a big black Corvette. I mean, there's a bunch of cars. And those are all retro, you know? So. Yep, yep. Um. Nice, 160. Elimination round three. Sammy Peterson, let's go, Sammy. What are you rocking? Huh? It's rocking a Dodge Ram pickup. Chevy versus Mopar. Alrighty, let's go. Yeah, I know. I don't think a lot of people are going to watch this, but you know what? Um, I don't know, I'm just going to make these videos anyways. You know, regardless if you watch them or not, so. 163, I think that counted. Please tell me that counted. No thank you. Oh nice, 937, okay. Elimination round four. I think this is it. What's he driving? Can't tell what he's driving. I uh, zoomed in too quick. No, that black car that we raced in episode one, that was a Ford Galaxy? I believe it was a Ford Galaxy. That's, I think that's what it was. New territory unlocked north. New level, semi-pro street. Great racing, you won the event. Sweet, okay. 9-3 flat, nice. Cool. And I earned a lot of money, 7,200 bucks, almost 7,300. That's not bad. Give me some cash here. Give me some cash. Give me some cash. No, not $500. I would have loved that gold. $500. Five grand, baby. 
Okay, now I'm happy. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, I'm not fixing the damage on this. Uh, sorry, choppy idle all the time. Um, retro era. Yeah, so you got the 69 Charger, a 69 Camaro, a 60s, 63 split window vet. That's really cool that they had the split window in there. Um, what is that? It's a Mustang. Looks like a GT500. Or it could be... Well, yeah, it looks like a GT500. Um, an old, like, rat rod, you know, Ford Coupe style. I kind of want to buy that now. <laughs> um, this is an old Nova. I believe it's a 67. 66, 67. This is a Ford Galaxy. 500, I believe. Dodge Challenger. A GTO. Nice. Um, this looks like a Barracuda. Or like a satellite or something. Can't tell what that is. That's a 60, or a 70 to 72 Nova, I believe. And this is a 69 Vet, just like my grandmother has. Um, 70 Chevelle. 71 Cuda, like what I tried to do with, um, in Carbon. That looks awesome. That's an El Camino. I want this thing so bad. And back to the 69 Charger. So guys, I know I said I wasn't going to go over 25 minutes, and I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys want to see me run? What do you guys want to see me race with um, next episode? Let me know. Um, here are some of the... There's a Viper. These are some of the ones I couldn't pick. Corvette. Um, yeah, so, but no, let me know, um, like I said, I apologize for the length of the video, Grand National, um, but, there's a Supra, um, if you guys did enjoy this, let me know, that's a 370, not a 350Z, um, and I will catch you guys down the road, this is Chevy Boy, signing out, peace y'all. And that is a WS6 Trans Am.